Hi Swaggy Swan family, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna show you how I did this transformation of getting Savannah's hair, as you see in those pictures, to a point of having waist length hair. You're gonna wanna grab an aloe leaf plant or leaf, so they call it. As you see here, you can get it from a local grocery store such as Whole Foods in my area. We have it at ShopRite, Stop and Shop. So yes, a local grocery store. And you're gonna want some authentic Jamaican black castor oil as well and a couple of other products I'll show you. You're gonna wanna cut your aloe vera plant into about two chunks. So I'm cutting mine here and you're gonna cut it the same way. Be careful, it does have prickly sides. You're gonna wanna cut those off. If you do not, those sides can hurt you and can draw blood. So again, be very careful and be sure to cut off those prickly ends. You're gonna be left with what looks like some gel portions on the side and those pieces you want to keep. So again, you're cutting off the sides and you're going to glide your knife through the center and you're going to see this nice ooey gel substance that is the good stuff that we need for what we're going to be using it in your child's hair so you're going to want to put that onto a plate and for your bigger chunk same thing slice that in half and all that gooey nice gel is what we need voila those are the four pieces that you will need you don't need more than that because this is for a child's hair now for the parts that you're not using just simply put those in some type of plastic wrap and store it in the fridge you can use that for another treatment at a later time you can use this comb that you see here if you don't have it just use a detangling brush like the pink one i'm showing here i'm going to use authentic jamaican black castor oil that's the only kind i like to use you can use what you have available, but I do only recommend authentic. Some scrunchy bands for parting the hair, some type of distractive toy like a rubber duck, or even better if you have an electronic device for something your child can watch. I'm gonna part Savannah's hair into four sections. That's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna take that scrunchy band and I'm going to do the top half first and put it up in one big section. And I'm gonna start with the back. So now I'm going to go ahead and section off that back one and start with the bottom right. Now I'm taking one of those pieces that I cut and I'm going to get that gel substance all in the bottom right corner of that section. And I'm simply like painting it on if that makes sense. Look at all that good gooey stuff. That is the pure aloe gel that I'm working into her hair. And I'm using my fingers to help get the product all throughout that section. You wanna work in sections just because it's just easier. And if your child has really thick hair like Savannah, you definitely wanna work in sections. It'll allow you to really get that aloe vera gel into the hair and it'll save you a lot of time. You don't wanna be detangling at this point, especially if you have a child who's tender headed. Do not detangle. Just do exactly what I'm doing here and work that gel throughout the hair. I'm puncturing the aloe vera pieces and that's all you need to do to continue to allow it to ooze out more gel. There's so much gel in these pieces and honestly, if you continue to puncture it, more and more will ooze out. Do not throw it away if you feel like it's getting dull. After I've oozed out a lot of the gel, I go ahead and I grab my authentic Jamaican black castor oil and I add that to her scalp and I also add it in different sections of that piece there so as you can see i'm working it throughout that section is becoming moisturized you can tell the difference because it looks more moisturized than the rest of her hair and i continue to work that aloe vera gel uh, throughout that section i'm grabbing the detangling brush and i'm detangling starting with the ends first and i'm just combing it through and I'm working the product through at the same time, massaging it through, and I'm able to easily comb through her hair. So again, if you're going to choose to detangle, that's fine, but wait until that gel has really gotten into that section and had a chance to really moisturize it so it can glide easily with your detangling comb or brush. 
Next, I'm just gonna do the same thing to the next section and you can see how much of that good gel is really going a long way in her hair. So while I do that, I'm gonna take this time to talk about the benefits of the aloe vera gel. If you don't know, definitely do your research, but aloe vera has been around for centuries. It's most known for its healing properties and it's found in a lot of different products. Mostly it's known to be used to heal for sunburns, but in regards to hair, it is useful for people who have issues with dandruff, if you're trying to heal the scalp, issues with irritation, but it is also known to help with regrowing hair. Aloe vera gel has vitamins A, B, and E, and vitamin B12 specifically, and it also has folic acid. Both of those helps to prevent hair from falling out. As a standalone, it is controversial, which is why I add it to the Jamaican black castor oil. So again, as a standalone, it might not be as effective, but when added with another element that promotes hair growth, such as authentic Jamaican black castor oil, it is very beneficial to stimulating hair growth. So you see me getting to the top half of Savannah's hair. I'm simply doing the same thing. I'm using the aloe vera pieces that I have, working it into her hair thoroughly, adding that authentic Jamaican black castor oil throughout her hair, again combing the ends once both products have begun to saturate the hair, and then I'm simply just twisting her hair up and I'm doing like a little twist and using those little bands that I have wrapping them around and just putting it in a little semi-protective style so that her hair has time to continue to soak up the product as I work on that last section there. So as I was saying, let's go into the benefits of the authentic Jamaican black castor oil. Many of, many of you probably know by now there are various companies and brands all throughout the market that have incorporated Jamaican black castor oil into their hair care lines because there's proven benefits and lots of research that shows Jamaican black castor oil is extremely beneficial in stimulating the hair follicles and helping with hair growth. That is definitely a fact and research shows it. So if you're looking to grow your children's hair, you most definitely want to incorporate Jamaican black castor oil. Through my own research and the research that is available, I find that the authentic Jamaican black castor oil is my preference. Reason being, I've said it before in many videos, I learned I prefer to go the authentic route because I don't want to personally buy any of the Jamaican black castor oil from some brands that I have found that add certain salts and certain additives and chemicals to their Jamaican black castor oils that are sold in stores. So I'd rather just buy it at its purest form, which is what I do. If you're interested in the authentic Jamaican black castor oil that I use in Savannah's hair, that is something that you can check with the links that I leave in the description boxes. Moving right along, once I've finished adding the aloe vera treatment, as well as the authentic Jamaican black castor oil to Savannah's hair, I allow it to sit in her hair for a duration of time. You wanna try to leave it in as long as possible. Shoot for at least 15 to 20 minutes. If your child gets restless, that's okay. Go ahead and you wanna wash that out. Rinse it out with cool to warm water first, and then go ahead and add your shampoo. I'm using the Shea Moisture Chamomile and Argan Oil Baby Shampoo to wash her hair. I'm not using any conditioner. I'm washing that hair nice and uh, thoroughly. If you notice, Savannah is totally not paying me any mind. She is literally was watching a show on the phone while I was washing her hair, completely unbothered. And again, a key to helping your child hair grow is to start a routine from when they are young. Check out a lot of my videos to see. I've started since Savannah was a couple of weeks old, which is why she's really unbothered with this whole process. Once I've washed her hair, I take her out. Look at that scalp. Nice, fresh, and moisturized. Aloe vera does a really good job with defining curl patterns. Look at her curl pattern. 
it's super defined no conditioner was used so it really is the aloe vera that helped with defining this curl pattern her hair is nicely moisturized and juicy her curls are thriving and popping <laughs> it looks really good and nice guys look i'm gonna show you too the journey to waist length does not have to be difficult it doesn't have to be painful for your child it doesn't have to be painful for parents you just have to do your research know the products to use and pay attention to what responds to your children's hair jamaican black castor oil the authentic kind especially really is beneficial look at that length check savannah's hair is down to her waist when stretched that is savannah's waist check most definitely um she does have shrinkage obviously she gets that from me most people do and there's nothing absolutely nothing wrong with that but yeah her hair is at a healthy state she hasn't had a trim yet maybe she will in a couple of years or who knows a couple of months but this is her hair nice and healthy and strong from the natural purest aloe vera gel to help assist and the authentic jamaican black castor oil the great thing about the authentic Jamaican black castor oil and the aloe vera gel treatment is you can decide to do this whenever you do wash day. Okay guys, so I'll recap for you quickly. Authentic Jamaican black castor oil is helpful with getting your child's hair to waist length and just growing in general because it moisturizes, thickens, and strengthens the hair which then increases blood flow to the scalp. This is what rapidly increases hair growth in your child's hair so that's what's key about authentic jamaican black castor oil and why a lot of brands use it for their hair care lines so definitely look into that now for the aloe vera gel aloe vera gel is key and very essential in helping the process of hair growth because it's an anti-inflammatory with many antioxidants it has vitamins that help to repair damaged hair it helps with breakage and it also has many healing agents it promotes hair growth with those healing agents and vitamins and helps your hair to be healthier shinier stronger and prevents it from falling out so combined together both of these help your children's hair to grow faster stronger and reach waist length eventually hope this information was helpful thanks for watching